Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Farhan Abdul Raza. I am from RK05. So today I'm going to propose a project that entitled Food Vending Machine at Inuit Hostel. So we all know that food plays an extra role in the rise and growth because of its effect on health and efficiency. Many people become extremely uncomfortable when they are hungry and unable to concentrate on the task they do. Therefore, analysis of hostel diets is of vital importance for realizing the need and importance of diet for students. Malnutrition will result in mental retardation and decrease in efficiency to do any kind of work. Much is being said uh, and done about recommendations of food at various levels as college universities, but food consumed by hosteller is yet to be highlighted. Food vending machine is specially designed because it is very hard for students to find or to buy food near their hostel since the hostel cafeteria does not offer much variety foods and hygiene foods. The main purpose of food vending machine is to help students buy their food without going out from the hostel. Survey was done to collect information among 50 respondents participated by UNIMAP students. And we observe that it is not easy to get food at the hostel area and they think that having food it is important at midnight. A very good morning to our lecturer and my fellow friends. I'm Sudan Andani, Arab of Nigeria, and my and my metric number is 18101064. We did a survey about a food vending machine setup at Unimap at every Unimap hostel. Food vending machine is specifically designed because it is very hard for students to buy foods near their hostel since the hostel's cafeteria does not offer much variety of food and hygienic foods. Today, I'm going to present about my part is methodology and the methodology can be classified into two. Into two. The first is sampling and the second is about questionnaire. First, uh, we use, we use uh, the method used for collecting information for the proposal is a survey. So, we use a survey to collecting information for our proposal, uh, for our project that that we that we plan to conduct at the UNIMAP, uh, at the UNIMAP, uh, at every UNIMAP hostel. Therefore, this proposal was considering the survey as a primary data source because it is a new research. So, for our new research, we use uh, uh, a survey because it can give us a primary data. The second is sampling procedure. The sampling used in this proposal is purposive sampling because this survey is about food vending machine setup at the main campus of Unimet Postel in University of Malaysia, Police. This sample is a non-probability sample that is selected based on characteristic of a population. This sampling is a different from a convincing sampling and is also known as a judgmental, selective or subjective sampling. So, from here, I just give an example for the sampling procedure. First, this figure uh, figure 3.1 is showing that the respondent's gender. So from the above figure, 60% of the respondent are female, whereas 40% respondent are male. They are contribute for uh, or they also willing to become our respondent. Other example is uh, figure 3.3 is about respondent education level. So from the above uh, figure the highest percentage of respondent who willing to willing to become a respondent is is degree student about 92% of student 
and the percentage of respondent who studying diploma were six of of the students. The respondent who is studying master had the least percentage with the two percentage. The next, last but not least, I'm going to tell about the questionnaire. A questionnaire is a research instrument consisting of a series of a question for the purpose of gathering information from the respondent. So, the benefit of the questionnaire it is provide a relatively cheap, quick and efficient way of obtaining a large amount of information from a large amount of a, a, a large a, a large person, a large sample of the people because uh, the questionnaire that that we that we share using our social media uh, for example we use whatsapp uh, we use telegram and etc because we use a google form google form link to to, to pass to whatsapp through the social media uh, for our respondent so for this questionnaire we just took 50 50 students become our respondent for this for our project type of questions in questionnaire a total of 12 questions had been asked in this survey the type of questionnaire questions used in this survey is a close-ended questions close-ended question we meet the answer of the respondent to respond option provided in the questionnaire. The pros of the question close-ended question are easier and quicker for respondent to answer and the answer is different respondent are easier to compare. So from this questionnaire we combine we combine included the decomotive or two point questionnaire multiple choice question and scale question we use for our survey that's all thank you hi i'm rosa laban from rp05 and i'm going to present about the problems that students face at Unimap campus hostel cafeteria a survey had been done among 50 students and a chart had been generated from the survey which proves that the student has two main problems at the Unimap campus hostel cafeteria main problem the student face at main campus of Unimap Hostel Cafeteria is when buying food at the Hostel Cafeteria. A bar chart had been generated among the 50 students and 54% of students had strongly agreed that they have difficulties in purchasing food above 12 am. This is because the campus cafeteria will be closed at 11 pm where the students won't have the chance to strive for food outside the campus or even to grab snacks or light food because nowadays students are more active at night compared to the daytime because they believe that students believe that they're able to produce a good work or efficient work at night compared to the daytime the second highest concern of the students is the varieties of food that have been provided at the Unimap cafe is always the same where 46 percent of students have strongly agreed and another four percent had disagreed with the uh, varieties of food that have been provided this is because most of the students are foreigners and also from the far states that will only go back during the long semester break and also during the study week. So this proves that during the weekends, they had observed the food that had been served at the cafe which has less varieties and also lead the students to lose their appetite in eating. Besides that, the food hygienic level is not as good as the price of the food that had been sold at the Unimap campus cafeteria because the number of students that strongly agree is only 8% compared to the number of students that disagree which is 10% which is higher than the number of students that strongly agree. This can be said that the unclean table at the Unimap cafe where this, it is part of the students responsibility to drop their plates at the place provided and keep the cafe table as clean as possible so that another student will be able to use it. Besides that, the food that be exposed to the air also have a lot of flies on it that doesn't give a good impression on the students to uh, buy food at the Unimap cafe. So some of students will not be able to withstand the bad hygiene level at the cafe which lead them to even consider to buy a drink at the cafe.
besides that the food hygienic level was, is not as good as the price of the food that had been sold at the Unimap campus cafeteria because the number of students that strongly agree is only 8% compared to the number of students that disagree which is 10% which is higher than the number of students that strongly agree. This can be said that the unclean table at the Unimap cafe where this, it is part of the students responsibility to drop their plates at the place provided and keep the cafe table as clean as possible so that another student will be able to use it. Besides that, the food that be exposed to the air also have a lot of flies on it that doesn't give a good impression on the students to uh, buy food at the Unimap cafe. So some of students will not be able to withstand the bad hygiene level at the cafe which lead them to even consider to buy a drink at the cafe. The second problem the students face is when buying the food outside the Unimap campus or, it, or at other places. The main challenges that students face when buying food at outside the Unimap or at other places is transport inconvenience. This, is, this can be proved from the bar chart that had been produced which states that 40% of students had strongly agree and 2% only that disagree that they having transport inconvenience because not every student able to use the public transport that had been provided and there is public transport till 7 pm and most of the students schedule is tight with classes until 6 pm so uh, besides that the unimap bus also had specific time timing period which enables students uh, to travel so this doesn't give much space for the students to travel and also buy food this proves from the bar chart that 34% of students had strongly agreed and another 24% of students had just agreed that the varieties of taste and food preference is better at outside compared to the Unimap cafeteria. This is because the students are forced to eat whatever food that have been provided at the cafeteria. But the students from long distance, they won't be able to consume the food for a long period of time. And this could exhaust the students and also lead the students to a different pathway that could lead them um, into a weak students because they don't have sufficient energy to do their work. So students prefer to consume their food from outside as there are multiple varieties of choice of food that had been offered which will give the chance for the students to choose their food according to their food preference so that students would be able to enjoy different types of taste and textures which could give them peace of mind. When looking at the price of the food and also the hygiene level, the number of students that responded neutral option is the highest where 38% of students had responded neutral for the price of the food are expensive and not reasonable and another 42% of students had responded neutral for the hygiene level of food that sell by the sellers at outside the Unimap is better than at the Unimap cafeteria. Besides, another 24% of students had strongly agreed and another 18% of students had disagreed that the price of the food are expensive and not reasonable. This proves that the students can only have their meal either at their hostel cafeteria or around their school area because outside food is far away from the Unimap campus. Choices for them is to access food is also limited. So that's why the students prefer to have their meal away from the Unimap campus because they believe that the food outside is more delicious and can be consumed many times even though the price is expensive compared to the food in the cafeteria with an average taste. And looking at the food hygiene level that sell by the sellers outside the Unimap campus, 20% of students only strongly agree that this uh, food hygiene level is better at outside compared to the inside. This is because students believe that traveling outside to buy food has, has its own advantages and also disadvantages with which students need to be aware because students believe that not every place of the food environment is good to be consumed. In conclusion, by having a vending machine, students will get the chance to choose their food according to their appetite and mood and could even enjoy and consume food at any time. Besides, students also will be able to complete their work at night more effectively and also produce an efficient work product. Therefore, students will be also able to perform well in their studies. Thank you.
Hi, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Thank you for watching this video. Alright, my name is Nusha Mimit Mera Binti Razai. Today, I would like to present my presentations about a proposal report on proposing food vending machine at Unimed campus. Okay, first of all, I would like to talk about the uh, solutions. Okay, um, okay, we got uh, two problems here. First, uh, firstly is problem one. Okay, problem one is difficulty purchasing food at midnight above 12 a.m. Oh, sorry. Ah, yes, 12 a.m. Okay, based on the uh, based on our survey. Okay, uh, mostly students uh, strongly agree about our survey lah. And then, uh, okay, at the figure 5.1, problem that students face when buy food outside Unimed. Okay, uh, firstly, uh, this, uh, the solution is to prevent the food in the vending machines out of stock. The vendor will refill the food frequently. Okay, frequently. So, uh, next student can get their foods anytime when they feel hungry. So, a uh, student, they do not uh, need to go out, outside the campus to get food lah. And then, um, okay, a built-in system is installed to send a warning signal to vendor when the food store is about to sold out. Okay, next, these actions uh, will also ensure that all the food provided is fresh and safe to use because the vendor check the stock every day, every day and every time. So the student don't need to worry about that. Okay, um, right. Okay, the menu we design depend on low calorie but high nutrition food to take care of health of the student. Okay, so, um, okay. The next, the problem too is transport inconvenience. The problem is transport, transport, sorry, transport. So, student, uh, some of students, they don't have transport because they, uh, they, at campus, they only use like a uh, bus, okay, bus, so, um, transport. And then, uh, on the figure 5.2 is problems that can be solved. Okay, based on the survey of proposing food vending mission at Unimi campus, many students are having reluctance to travel outdoor and get their favorite sites, milk, owing and transportations. By having a food selling machine is available for convenience at every hotel will solve the problem of student who is having transportation problem. Okay. Uh, and then next, uh, we just going down there and a simple operations on the center. They can get their food easily. The menu varies every week ensuring the student are happy with the meal. Okay, the last one, the last but not least, huge, quanti huge quantities of alternative meal are uh, offered students can enjoy just different types of food but only buy food from the seller okay that's all for me thank you assalamualaikum and hi everyone my name is Noraimi Alia binti Kaharudin. today I would like to talk about the benefit of food vending machine at Unimed Hostel First of all, students can save their time and money. Sometimes students don't have time to take a breakfast in the cafe. So by placing so by placing a snack machine in an ideal location at university can help students to curb their hunger. Other than that, students no longer need to take to book a grab or take a public transportation to go out and buy food. Secondly, can help improve student focus in class. Healthy food is food that helps the student focus throughout the day. It is especially important in the mid-afternoon when it is typical to experience, to experience a slump. Snacking between meals can help to improve student focus and this can help them engage in their, in their classes more. 
after that, the selling machine's menu is built to ensure that students have a healthy lifestyle focus on food quality. Last but not least, the diversity of food options offers students a more econ economical service and, and for in an affordable price range. In conclusion, the benefit of a vending machine at Unimit Hostel is can save time and money, can help students to focus in the class. Uh, after that, uh, have a healthy lifestyle, focus on food quality and more economical service. Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you. So I will pass the next presentation to my partner. That's all for me. Hi there. I'm Tashini Tinagaram from RK05. Everyone knows that the management is important before we start any activities as it consists of the interlocking functions of creating, organizing, planning, controlling and directing an organization's resource in order to achieve the objectives of a project. Since we intend to install food supply machines in hostels, we must properly manage them by giving all our departments some responsibilities. The maintenance department is responsible for checking and monitoring the food vendors in daily basis and maintaining the functionality of the machines. We will be able to avoid wastage alignment and save money with a sustainable campus initiation. Students also play a part in monitor expiry and food amount within the food vending machine. Students can also promote by using social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Or they can even distribute some pamphlets all around the campus. For the cost of food vending machine, we have estimated RM26,000 in total to ensure the food vending machine function exactly as intended in Unimap campus. Thank you. In conclusion, almost 88% of students believe that a food vending machine should be available in Unimap hostel area. Installing a vending machine can have numerous benefits. If a machine has been installed in a campus, it will act as a, f as a source of ready-to-eat food for the student. Students need more food to make it through the day. Nothing will be better than having a machine that will instantly provide them food. Students don't always keep normal hour of operation. Maybe late night studying, socializing or hunting for a late night restaurant to grab some food. The food vending machine is a great solution to feeding hungry students and faculty 24 hours a day. With a vending machine, students will always have food to eat and something to drink of where the students are. As an overall view, we highly advise Unimap to accept our proposal on food vending machine for the purpose to help students to buy their food without going out from hostel to conclude this research. That's all from me. Thank you.